Good morning, K1GMM Steve in Vermont. I figured I'm going to share something with you guys regarding, yeah, 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 same old stuff, different day, SDR, more SDR, overload, OD, whatever you, OTT, SDR, yada, yada, yada. I figured in, uh, excuse the sniffles, I've got a little bit of the sniffles, very humid outside, sinus torture as usual. So uh, what we're going to look at today, I was talking to my friend Jared W4ZXT, and he had mentioned that SDR Play, SDR Uno had come out with a new noise reduction system. So I started doing some investigation, investigating, and... I wanted to find out if SDR Uno would run with an HF Plus, an Air Spy. Well, it will. However, it's a bust. So I figured I'd show you exactly what the problems are. Um, I like the software, but I like the way it looks. Its functionality is CAC. Um, you cannot use the newest version newest version of SDR Uno. You have to use, I think it's 1.22, 1.22, something like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up on the screen and I'm gonna show you and I'll, I'll go through basically what the problems are with this software. Um, as you can see, if you've never used this, this particular software before, it has a nice look to it. It looks like it's very functional, which I'm sure the full version is. This is, I believe, if you're going to run like an SDR, RTL SDR, or an HF Plus, or a Hack RF, or whatever, something that is not the SDR Play, the RSP series, you're going to need to run the older version of SDR Uno. And I believe it's the EXTIO version. In other words, you can run other SDR radios on their software. There's a huge problem. And if you go to Fugle and you type in stuttering audio SDR Uno, you will see a lot of complaints and a lot of things uh, posted regarding studying stuttering audio now yes I am on a dinosaur of a computer and I'm gonna try and keep this brief so I think if you want to make this run right you need to be on at least a core i5 i5 core i7 core with superb hardware I think the buffering in it, it, it with this particular software is horrific audio wise it's extremely tasking on the computer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up let me get this going I'll show you around a little bit the first thing I noticed if you look here excuse me I got a sneeze uh, waiting for a sneeze to come on if you look right here bottom left hand corner look at the system 40% this thing's using like 20, bouncing between 18 and 30% usage, 20% average. That is horrific, man. This thing, this piece of software is an absolute pig on the system. Um, getting it hooked up and running on the HF Plus was a breeze. You'd literally grab the XTIO, whatever SDR radio you're using, drop it in your My Documents folder. Um, one, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing is, let me see here. Um, when you launch the software, you have to launch it with the XTIO EXE, which is in the program directory. Okay. It'll launch this first window. You have to open, see these buttons right here? To get all of this displayed, you have to open all of these windows. Now, that's not an issue, right? The problem is every time you open, you close the stupid thing and you open it, you have to completely set all the panels up again. It doesn't remember the panel settings. I'm not bashing this software. 
this software, keep in mind, is written for the SDR Play community, um, the RSP stuff. So I understand that. This, this is not what I would consider cross-platform as far as a SDR radio. It's a shame. Second thing I noticed is there's virtually no noise reduction, no notch uh, availability in this particular... If you want to run this particular software suite with anything but an SDR play, you're going you're gonna to miss out. Um, there's, there's just basically a noise blinker, wide and narrow. There's no notch, which should be in here. There's no noise reduction available. Um, you can open a separate window. This is the EXW. You click on this, and this will open this panel, and this controls your AGC. Now, this is a handy feature to control the bandwidth, the bottom right-hand corner. You can just click and drag it, and it'll adjust your bandwidth. You do have bandwidth settings here. Um, another pet peeve I have this, and I'm comparing this directly with SDR, excuse me, SDR console. All I can say is there's a reason why folks running Anons run SDR console. It's a far superior piece of software. Now there may be features in this in the full version. If you're running an SDR play, SDR radio, that SDR console doesn't have, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But the biggest bust, um, as you can see, aesthetically, it's, it's very nice. The other thing that is a major complaint, you can't adjust the size of these windows. Now, if you look closely right here, I can't even read those, man. I can barely read these buttons. You can't adjust the size of these at all. Um, <laughs> you know... Whatever, uh, this is kind of nice. You've got your band uh, selection right here. A little pseudo keypad, you just click on it and it'll go change the bands for you. Um, your modes are all right here. Uh, you got your squelch, your mute uh, volume, mute. This is squelch function. Your AGC right here. It, uh, another pet peeve I have is that to control the ALC, right? Like you can um, go here to settings. Uh, I can't remember where it is. Oh, shoot. Um, to get your cap running, basically you, you use this settings menu, the RX settings, select cat, um, select your COM port, your baud rate, enable and connect, boom. It will, it will just work with your rig. Um, another thing I noticed, I'm on 0% drive here, so let me shut up. Um, actually, I'll demo that in a second for you. The AGC function is good. I'm trying to figure out where I found all the AGC parameters, and I can't for the life of me remember where those were. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? It's it's one of those situations. Okay. I can't remember. For the life of me, I cannot remember. Um, it's in here somewhere. So, you know, like your slope and, and all the other controls for your AGC. Now, this gives you, this panel right here gives you an overall snapshot of, of, the noise blanker noise reduction which again is not available there's no button to activate it here this is on the old version which is what you have to run if you again if you're running any SDR radio that is not an SDR play um, or an RSP I think they call it something like that uh, as you can see the pan adapter is very good um, let me get back to this other screen if you watch the radio if you watch my radio and I click somewhere in here, it does track the radio very well. You can click anywhere in the, in the waterfall. You can roll a mouse and it will basically zero beat the frequency for you. Um, its functionality in sync to the radio is very good. Here's the biggest bust. This makes it unusable for anybody. And I've heard of guys even having problems with good computers with this. 
So let me activate the audio and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Here we go. I need a strong signal here. Okay, I'm going to mute my microphone, but notice the stuttering audio. I'm going to just let it run here. You'll hear the audio stuttering. No fix for this, man, I don't think. And I'm certainly not going to buy new hardware just to be able to run the software. So here we go. Like you're in a long drive or something, hang on a lot of traffic lights, you can actually, once you, once you stop the vehicle, you can take your foot off the brake and hold the car, no matter what. So you give it a I got from one of our former members of Bill DeVoe, uh, A3YR. You may or may not remember him. Uh, he may have been before you joined the net. Uh, do you remember Bill DM? Okay, so there you go. There's a stuttering audio. I fussed with it for, I don't know, I played with this for maybe a total of two hours in the past two days. I cannot fix it. Oh, hold on. Let me mute this. Um, can't fix it. So here's one nice, it's a really a shame um, because what I found is the cat control on the software actually functions very well with the PTT. So I'm going to find a clear frequency here. Let me click here. I'm on 0% drive. And I notice that when you key the rig, you activate the PTT. It works very, very well. Um, and I think it works better than SDR console. SDR console seems to have a little bit of a chunk every once in a while um, where the radio and software are trying to play catch up with each other. Um, nothing to do with a hamburger, but you know, they're, they just have a hard time syncing sometimes. Um, so I'm going to act, reactivate the audio and I'll key the rig a couple times. You can check out how tight it is and, and how it functions. So this is a clear frequency. I believe I'm on 0% drive, nothing going out, maybe half a watt. So I'll just key the rig. Here we go. Rig's keyed down, releasing. There you go. I mean, it's such a shame because it works so good. Um, so I figured I'd show you guys that. Uh, play with it. If you get it running, let me know how it works. Uh, the biggest problem I have with it, the biggest problems I have with this is the CPU usage, bottom left-hand corner, 41%. You know, this is an 11 year old computer, um, but it is a six core. It's a, I think, believe it's a 2.9 gig uh, AMD. It's got 16 gigs of RAM in it. It's old. It is running Windows 10, but 41%, that's, that's unacceptable. Um, and the stuttering audio makes it yeah, pretty much unusable. So I figured I'd throw that at you guys. I'd throw it at you and let you make your own decisions. Again, I'm in no way bashing the software. I actually like it. It's just a shame that I can't use it. Uh, seven three guys, we'll catch you later. Uh, this is K1GMM Steve, and thanks for watching. Figured I'd share a couple observations with you. Uh, catch you later. Have a great day.